I recently discussed Amber Heard potentially being removed from Aquaman 2 due to the abuse allegations against her. Now, to quickly sum up the situation between Amber Heard and Johnny Depp, she accused Johnny Depp of abusing her during their marriage. Now, back when Amber Heard made these allegations with no proof whatsoever, Disney removed Johnny Depp from the Pirates of the Caribbean franchise only four days after she came out and announced this. He had then filed a lawsuit against her, arguing her abuse allegations were part of an elaborate hoax to generate positive publicity for her to advance her career. Now, there were also rumors that it was done to promote Aquaman. Now, recently, Amber Heard admitted to hitting Johnny Depp on a leaked audio recording, but she also scoffed at his claims that he was a domestic violence victim, suggesting that courts would actually take her side because she is a woman, which is disgusting, and after I heard that, I lost all respect I had for her as an actress. There were also rumors going around about how apparently Warner Brothers was considering replacing her as Mira in Aquaman 2. My previous video on the situation will be linked in the pinned comments, but now we are hearing that those claims are false and Warner Brothers actually doesn't even care about the accusations against her. To be clear, these are rumors, so please take them with a grain of salt. Also, if you are enjoying the content, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Amber Heard unlikely to lose Aquaman 2 role or L'Oreal contract. Johnny Depp has now made several allegations against Amber Heard, stating that she was the abusive one in their marriage. Statements which were escalated when voice recordings leaked of Amber Heard saying no one would believe Depp. Obviously, fans of Johnny Depp reacted strongly by this point and got to work creating petitions to not only see Amber Heard removed from the upcoming sequel of Aquaman 2, but also to have her dropped from her contract as a spokesperson for L'Oreal. While those types of petitions are never guaranteed to work, many fans hope that they would, considering Depp lost his role as Jack Sparrow under such allegations, and no doubt many other celebrities have been similarly impacted in recent years. But it looks like this isn't going to be the case with Amber Heard. Women like Amber Heard can get away with murder if they want. They can get away with anything as long as they have enough people that that like them in the industry that they work in. As such, there is nothing going on with her role on Aquaman 2, and they wouldn't even consider firing her. The petitions to get her dropped from L'Oreal are also highly unlikely to go anywhere with the company. L'Oreal runs Amber Heard's social media pages and are, of course, very fond of her. There you go. There's the evidence that she would not be fired from either of these jobs because she has people there that like her. She has worked her way into the company and people would defend her if she was to ever be removed. The source continues to explain that there's a lot more going on with the case as well, including evidence that could be damaging against Johnny Depp. Well, when you make harsh accusations that someone abused you for years, you obviously should have evidence of that. In fact, there's much more to these allegations than what's been revealed so far. This is why Amber Heard hasn't settled with Johnny Depp. While the audio recordings with Amber Heard don't look good, of course they don't look good, she legitimately said, I'm using my gender to my advantage, Amber still has incredibly damaging evidence against Johnny Depp. With that said, Amber Heard and her legal team have chosen to do everything involving their case in court rather than rely on social media. People do have the power to voice their opinion on social media, and when there are such harsh allegations against you, you should probably make a statement saying you didn't do anything or you apologize for the things that have come out on social media.
Now, the situation with Johnny Depp and Disney is a lot different than the one with Warner Brothers and Amber Heard. With Disney, they have a reputation and, of course, a family-friendly image to uphold, so cutting Johnny Depp out of the Pirates of the Caribbean franchise quickly was awful, in my opinion, since they had no evidence, but it wasn't surprising. And with Warner Brothers, they don't have that family-friendly image, so, of course, she could get away with this. Even though they are saying that she has damning evidence against him? Where is it? We have seen nothing that points to her being innocent at this point. Because every woman she has tried to, on social media, turn against Depp like all of his exes, have said nothing bad about him. They've said, of course, everyone has their times, everyone has their moments, that maybe they're angry, maybe they're upset, but that he wasn't an abuser. I just want to be clear and say that they've both done things wrong. There are videos on the internet of him being fairly aggressive with her, but there are no videos online of him admitting that he's done something and that he can get away with it. And again, in the lawsuit, he's saying this is all part of a scheme for media attention. Videos can be taken out of context on the internet, and the few videos that there are of him getting angry could, of course, be taken out of context. Johnny Depp was let go from Disney due to allegations. The video of her saying things like, I can get away with anything because I'm a woman and no one would believe a man over me in my eyes is pretty damning. He is a victim of guilty until proven innocent and it shouldn't be that way, but if it is that way, then she deserves to be treated the same and she should be guilty until proven innocent. If you want to sign the petition for Amber Heard to be removed from Aquaman 2, the change.org link will be down below in the pinned comments if you want to support it, though it doesn't sound like Warner Brothers truly cares. But of course, the more media attention it gets, the better. I did enjoy Aquaman, but Amber Heard as Mira is not an irreplaceable actress, and I would be perfectly fine with seeing someone else portray the character, maybe even an actress that didn't work her way into to Hollywood by saying, poor me with no evidence to back up her claims. But that is all that I had to discuss in today's video. If you enjoyed it, please make sure to give it a like and subscribe. And of course, if you did not, make sure to give it a dislike. I appreciate your support either way, but I will talk to you all again in the next video really soon.